Hey, what's up, good people? I'm at work, but I wanted to do this uh, this quick video on uh, something that's been on my on my spirit. First of all, Cambo, Cambo, Natatanzambi, Yama Zulu, Kifumu Kiyakuyisa, the chief. The, the king all praises to the most high um uh i've been thinking a lot about uh colonization uh in the sense of uh um being delivered from uh colonization and in the context that i want to talk on it's the colonization of people that we've allowed to colonize our minds so you know for the black man you know i speak for for my people a lot uh, Primarily You know In the sense of We're waking up that We're in the time of the awakening I don't care if you're black Yellow, brown, white Orange Or in between uh, You are being awakened right now Because Moanda and Simi Has uh, Released the spirit of truth And knowledge in this time So You know This message Could, could, could be applied To, uh, to anybody um, But I was thinking about colonization of the mind and what a colonizer or what the definition of a colonizer is one that comes in and uh, a, a foreign entity that comes in and sets up home, sets up shop um, in that area or region. So a lot of us have had, you know, toxic relationships in the past. We've had uh, obviously for black people, we've had our land colonized. Um, but also we've had our minds colonized and, and to me, that's the most important part to realize is that our minds have been colonized. Um, now I just want to put it on a personal, uh, level, personal, um, uh, perspective. So, uh, in this awakening, you know, we're realizing that we're realizing we're, we're figuring out how to break the, the colonization, um, factor of religion and, uh, and uh, getting back to our spiritual roots, getting back to the earth, to the land. So we're decolonizing ourselves in that way. But one way that um, I feel like we need to shed light on is the decolonization of, uh, you like how I said that, decolonization of the, the toxic uh, people that we have allowed to come into our minds, in our personal worlds, and uh, pollute um our holy temple pollute our, our our bodies pollute our pollute our minds because you know the mind tells the body what to do so like uh like cancer for instance cancer you're, you don't get cancer by smoking and um and all these things cancer is already actually placed in your body um and your body of uh, uh the you know the things that the most high has put in your body he's used that to uh basically train your body up to fight off uh, any foreign entities that would come to kill you. So the way you get cancer primarily is by stressing out, is by worrying um, and all these things. And so then you need outside sources to come and heal you. So the way we have cancer of the mind is you've allowed an outside source or we have allowed outside sources, you know, people that we call friends, um, loved ones, family, people who are outside sources come in and pollute our minds. Uh, some of you guys are in re bad relationships uh, or have been in bad relationships with people who have done nothing but, you know, um, talk behind your back or, or you know, the to, to put it in a short way, snakes in the grass, you know? So I think that in this season, a lot of things that happen to me, like I work outside, right? So I've, I've killed about five snakes, uh, two weeks ago. And I knew that that was, um, that that was a prophetic act. Uh, and, uh, and then, uh, a prophet came, uh, seer came to me and, and told me that, uh, asked me how many snakes I killed. And, uh, that was a prophetic act where how, how uh, the, 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 the most high is showing me that I have snakes in the grass, you know, so he he cut the grass low in order for me to see the snakes and it's my job to kill the snakes, right? How do you kill a snake in the spirit? You chop off its head, you know, so um, I just want to I just want to say that quick word for uh, people who are out there, you know, and all you're getting get wisdom and get understanding 
And so with the people that are in your lives, with this awakening, uh, what you're going to see is the most high is going to start um, awakening uh, your spirit and your and, and the nat and your natural to see the things that were detriment the people, the people that were detrimental and are detrimental and will be detrimental to your life going forward. So don't be afraid to um, to block people off of social media, whether it be your friends, you know, or your so-called friends and your so-called family. Um, uh, and don't be afraid to, you know, uh, not respond to text messages and and uh, ignore people's calls and. And, you know, be called, be called, you know, <laughs> it, be called, you know, something, some name uh, by people who, who have abused and used and misused your trust and, and your love. So um, decolonize your mind, decolonize the, uh, the people that um, have been in your life. Uh, don't be afraid to decolonize them. You will be a better person um, alongside of this, this great awakening that's happening on the earth. So, uh, yeah, salama, salama, and gata, you know, and gata, as I say, and gata. Uh, so, talk to y'all soon. Salama.